Hello, welcome to my video. I hope you're well today. Glad you joined. I hope you find this topic and video interesting. My name is Owen Fox. I'm a father and I live in Ireland. I have a few children. And this, this, I was talking to my friend about this topic and she mentioned it to me about like how do we, how do we exactly or should we um, teach our own children topics relating to sex um, or, or can we rely on mainstream education to teach about sex and I just want to say that there's only so much mainstream or even general education can teach about sex. It may teach it partly got through from a physical or reproductive standpoint and that's positive. Um, to be careful, etc. Planned pregnancy. Don't be just having like you know un uncareful sex with anyone where you could, um, you know, you could get pregnant at an early age, or just understanding how like the reproductive parts of a male or female work. Um, you know, ovulation. Just you know the the male and female parts. Okay, so. Um, safe sex. Yeah, when it comes to a more like a thing like an energetical or emotional and or vibrational um, having sex slash making love or or conscious procreation um, which is like planning a baby for example I think that is best generally taught by anyone who's conscious be, be if you are a conscious parent if one is a conscious parent and you have experience in this matter then so be it. I think that's the most optimal for sure to teach. You have, you should have a by that age. You should definitely, you would definitely have a good bond and connection to your child. Okay, you've established it over many years of careful inner work and conscious dialogue and conscious behavior and hard mix for hard conversations um, and taking responsibility and accountability and owning one's triggers. Where there's a sense of trust, vulnerability, and openness which is vital for having and um, discussing topics of an important or even private or sexual nature too okay so um yeah that's that's what my thoughts are on this matter you know like we can have sex or we can make love or have sex with emotions and what some people call worship or reverence where you actually care for the person and you honor and respect both their physical body, but also you you honor and respect their spirit, their essence. But you also honor and respect their physical avatar, or their physical body, the vehicle of the soul. You know. And part of wor worshiping, what worshiping or reverence means, is you have great a mixture of admiration and appreciation, love, and and respect and honor towards somebody okay towards them as a whole holistic being a personality a mind a body emotions and their spirit all combined okay so no means no um, it's consensual it's 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 celebrating and expressing love for that person and each other when you have more conscious or higher frequency sex okay there's other there's, like we can throw names about we can we can call it worship we can call it whatever my experience is not all like just worship 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 like it depends on people's like energy if they're tired from parenting if we've had enough sleep if we've eaten the appropriate energy slash food and if we had a busy day and um, if we're both in the mood if one of us or both of us is drained which can be if 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 one or both are not getting enough sleep and um, if we're overworked or possibly sometimes stressed, other stresses in life. So it's not always like the optimal, most perfect stage with like space, especially if you have like children, the most ideal and optimal, perfect moments that make, make undistracted, undisturbed love. Okay. <laughs> but idealistically, it's lovely to get into the energy, like where it really is a sense of like, I love you so much. I worship, honor appreciate you deeply in my life and I celebrate you with this love making session okay of course it's gorgeous like kissing cuddling you know you could include like sex and like foreplay or afterplay where it's like you know beforehand kissing talking massage cuddling caressing then just make making love um, it can be fast slow or medium whatever it depends what the people like and the time they have etc but it's really about the emotional content and the physical weaving together 
the, the, the magic or the work, the little music you play together, you know. And then there's the after, if you have time, there's like more like sensuality, more sensualness there, maybe cuddling, whatever, kissing, holding, something nice and sweet. Um, so for me, I'm not all about, I'm not a perfectionist. I'm, I'm more like just trying to be down to earth and re realist um, and just make the best of what, what's available. Because for me, it truly is about making the best of what's available and making the most and the best of each person too in your life. So every day, make the best of it. Because like, you're never, you're not typically always going to have an ideal person being idealistically really kind to you, really wonderful, really sweet, really forgiving. You're not always going to have the most ideal work or job or the most ideal house. Like everything is pure positive. So we, we're going to be more with the most pure positive we can without spiritually bypassing any emotions. But just to make them be very positive and make the most out of what's there. So I feel like all of these are things we can teach our children, okay? So there's also like the aspects, the risks, dangers, or the simply the effects of having sex with someone who doesn't care for you, doesn't love you, doesn't respect you, who may not honor your saying, no, I don't want to have it now, or I don't want to be touched there. Or, you know, it's just like proper, real like, conversation where people really truly want to listen and, and respect you and will listen to you. So we all have a right to say no, or we don't like it this way, I don't want it this way this day, um, I don't like being touched there, or I don't like that's too hard, too fast, too soft, too slow. It's just about communicating. Um, yeah, and then it's of course sex education. We can learn, we don't necessarily have to teach all that to our potential, our child or our adolescent or teenager, you know, but yeah, the stuff just is simply about the, the physics and mechanics of the human body, you know, like, like there's different parts. They, they, it's nice to know what to do if possible. Like, there's different areas. Like, I don't know. I'll just a few names like A spot, like G spot, P spot. There's, there's, there's the different parts of of the lingam or the penis or the the yoni or the um, which is another word for the vagina. And um, which probably only probably encompasses the outer lips as well, and then there's things related to like you know other parts of our body. Okay, so um, other parts of our reproductive zone, um, in around our hip. I won't get into it all now. My batteries is pretty low. But uh, yeah, and then there's porn. Like some people say, porn is destructive and should be avoided at all costs. Like for me in my life, I have to just be honest. Like I don't feel my relationship or sex with my partner is changed from watching porn. Sometimes it depends. Sometimes never a lot, but sometimes not for a long time, and sometimes a little bit, a little bit of clump where it's a little bit. But I have to say, like I've never really liked like the aggressive or the like disrespectful porn. But these days, because I'm more sensitive in every single way possible, I definitely vi like veer away from anything that's like mean, like just disrespectful, or, like her just like you know demeaning or putting down or disrespecting a woman or a man. But it's usually always the women in the porn. So like I'm not trying to. What I'm trying to say is like we. It's good to learn like where porn comes from. A lot of it is, is like exploitation of women, and that's not really the best thing. And some of it's more like sensual, and it seems much like the, like Indian or like. Ayurvedic type of sensual type of porn. So yeah, um, it's good to just know and um, strike the balance where sometimes you can just imagine in your own mind without having to watch porn. You know, like I've done that loads in the past, like you know, not in the distant past, but I've done it, and I feel that's like generally nicer than just looking at a screen and just you know clicking and clicking and seeing. But, you know, sometimes we want to explore, we want to explore the world, dip our, dip our foot in the ocean. Like, I'm not trying to, I don't want to say it's all bad, but I also want to, like, be real and recognize the positives. Like, we don't want to be buying anything, especially as part of exploitation. Like, that's why, I don't want to, don't mean to bring up this topic at a bad time, but that's why I switched to a vegan diet, like, around 15 years ago, because I feel there's too much cruelty and hurt and pain and splitting up families and robbing, like, stuff like milk from babies and taking babies from mothers and robbing milk from a different, it's supposed to be for a baby like. So I don't want to like feed money into that industry. I prefer not to even give money to shops that aren't fully vegan, but that's hard to do, but that's my ideal. So at least I lean towards that. And sorry for bringing up a sensitive topic. I don't mean to trigger anyone. Um, 
these days I don't even like to kill plants. Like I've switched from not just animals, but I don't even like to like the other day I was like cutting a lettuce and I'm like, oh I feel bad doing this. Like I don't like this idea as if I'm like killing a lettuce. So today I've just eaten fruits, each to their own. This is what works for me. I'm very happy this way. I'm not always like this because I go up and down and I have my highs and lows. I have my moments. So part of the reason why I'm saying this about like we have our moments, we don't be shaming ourselves, we don't be judging and criticizing ourselves, we don't want to feel em- embarrassed, ashamed, and guilty and have a really like dense, heavy thing we're carrying. Carrying a dense, heavy thing never serves anyone. It doesn't serve the best for us, truly. We, we've got to make positive change from, from a, a, repl- a place where we've relinquished these heavy energies and self-judgments or judgments of others, the condemnations, and then we're allowed and we allow ourselves to, to let, we let a light come on in as we've opened up a space by letting go of the heaviness, stuff like shame and, and grudges, etc. Okay? So that's all I want to say, like embrace the shadow. Like I don't want to be spiritually bypassing here saying let's all be perfect angels because we just aren't going to be but it, when we have when we can have compassion and understanding for ourselves and forgiveness and compa- like I said the word compassion is so powerful we can let go of the dents and heavy and the blockages and then we can allow we can choose to be the light instead of feeling like we're forced to because we feel so bad about ourselves or others are looking at us like we've got to like choose no one can make us make no one can make us make a change. We've got to choose. And we can't force other people into making changes by shaming them either or giving out to them or saying how bad they are. That's not the optimal way, my friends. This is like a deep life lesson, but it also pertains to this whole topic of sexuality and sexual sex, sexual energy. Like also learn about sexual energy. Like this is a very strong creative energy. When we're low in energy by, you know, too much like ejaculating as a man or childbirth and breastfeeding as a woman, like over time and sometimes even clitoral orgasms for women, this can deplete our energy or our nervous system and make us, after the high, there's a low. And when we're on this low, we're more like just like zoned down and laid back and just want to like sit in the sofa or eat heavy. And then that has further effects. And similarly, having a non-loving sexual relation with somebody where in a bad relationship, that can have after effects that are like just like negative too. So it's all about looking at our life, having an honest analysis or survey and gently and lovingly making changes when and how we're able and it's different for everybody so we don't have to compare or judge how quick or how you've made a change but we can follow our inspiration follow what works and feels best for us so this is how you make true and lasting change and sometimes you might even fall back but it's okay that's part of the process of the, the greater lasting change you know that's how it's been with me and my diet even with porn with anything I'm trying to like or wish to sort of minimize, reduce, or give up. So yeah, um, I hope this video helps. Um, very little battery, but I can't think of anything else to say right now. Yeah, just use your, follow your intuition, follow your heart, and um, just be wise. And don't don't try and copy whatever anyone else is doing. Don't just trust other people to look after children properly. Like claim power. Make sure your children looked after extremely well. Who you entrust them to be with any child care, child minders, um, even neighbors or other family members or any even prof- sort of professionals. It's like make sure you know that they're going to be well looked after and well spoken to and it's a good energy and a good emotional mental state of the people looking after your children because we want to protect and nurture and love our children. That's the role of a parent to protect and to nurture. Okay. Um, when it comes to sex look after them like the whole topic look after them educate them guide them watch over them see what's going on in your child's life in general in in any topic and see how you are playing you're the biggest role model and you're the biggest inspiration and they're most likely to copy you what you do rather than what you say but what you say is very important but if it can match what you say what you do it's very powerful how you react or respond or lash out or don't lash out or if you the more conscious you are with your parents i mean as a parent with your children the better you're going to exemplify continuously through energy how you you, how to be in a vibrationally healthy state of mind body emotion and spirit then your children will grow up to be super duper empowered and wise and healthy body mind spirit and in control of their own life autonomous where they're not like a subservient sort of feeling weak and disempowered or unimportant they're like positive big strong lights and leaders of their own life the way you should be because we're all individual individuals and we have a birthright to be 
to be ourselves and to lead our own life instead of being told what to do. So it's super important, my friends. we got to also respect each other's wishes, but we also have to guide our children when at a younger age when they don't have the full know-how and understanding of risks, dangers. In terms of anything, as you know, if you're a parent, you can't do that. It's all age-dependent. You can't do dangerous stuff depending on like what age you are. You have to keep protection of your children. So, yeah, live from the heart. Love each other. Take responsibility. Do your own inner work as a parent is the most important thing and heal yourself is the most important thing you can do as a parent. And then then as you heal, you raise your frequency, your mental, emotional, physical state increases and spiritual too. And then you treat your children so much better and you traumatize them way less. And then they're so much more happier and balanced and wise children and much happier household with less craziness and madness. But again, we can only do our best, but do focus on your healing. So if anyone would like any help or coaching, um, or healing which i do on this topic i'm super passionate about heal yourself heal your relationship heal your family heal your life that might be something like the name of my my book on healing related to this topic so it's coming out in the next while keep an ear out um i'd love to help anyone or any relationship or any family or any person on any of these topics be it single or a parent or in a relationship and if you're in a relationship without children as well you know any of these topics and yeah my pleasure and joy and lots of love thank you for watching i'm so glad that you watched this to the end leave us feel welcome to leave me a comment you're invited if you watched to the end i'm so happy if you did and i hope you got the most out of this video have the most beautiful days you wish to have thank you for watching lots of love namaste